Hello everyone, welcome back to Lovely Stuff. This is gonna be another video I made for you. Um, so I made my first video yesterday uh, and that was about kimonos and the weather is still bad today. Um, the Beast of the East part two. Ooh. Um, but I thought I'd just finish off kind of what I started yesterday with the kimonos. I started going through some of my collection um, and yeah, I just thought maybe I should do a little bit more and then kind of have that as a two-parter because uh, I thought that would be nice. So big news is I have managed to get my um, eyebrows done so they are much better than they were. Um, I had to leave yesterday before I could finish doing all my videos because we just go look at a house which I've put an offering on so um, good luck to me. Uh, it's the fifth house that I've put a bid in for. At the moment there's this huge housing issue going on in Manchester where all the houses are going ridiculously overpriced so um, the last four times I've been outbid but on this one I've got a good feeling uh, yeah so that's great um, so yeah shall we get started where should we start I think we'll start with this one so this is a another unworn kimono but this one is from Jigsaw and it was like 230 quid uh, full price but I got it for 45 pounds it is slightly small on me because it's supposed to be a Jigsaw size small and I'm definitely not a Jigsaw size small in any normal circumstances um, but I think because of the style of it it actually fits I can't quite do this little button up but I don't think you're supposed to wear them super chic anyway but I, I there should be some pictures on the screen that kind of show what it looks like but I just loved I was in there I was in Cheshire Oaks to designer outlet and I just couldn't leave it there for that price because I just love the it's very like I don't know it's kind of hard to describe because it's kind of like beautiful tailored like I say it's got the traditional sort of kimono holes in the sleeve beautifully lined, beautifully made, love the colours, but I have no idea when I'm ever going to wear it and like it feels a bit, it feels a bit wedding-y but I'm not sure, but I'm sure I will find at some point some way to wear this and I will keep you posted when I do. Let's move on to a kimono top, um, so this one is from ASOS Curve, this one is a size 18 so it might be a little big now, I've been losing weight since last autumn and I've lost about a stone um, so yeah some of the clothes that I have are now starting to be a little on the big side but like I say I don't mind I think you can make it work you can make it look oversized whether I'm not like a I want everything to be skin tight on me kind of girl anyway um, there's a time and a place for skin tight ladies and it's called whenever you want so this little number it's silky, it's flowy, it's great for your holidays. Um, love the clashing of the colours. I love like a ye the yellow and the green is great. Um, I think there isn't enough yellow and green in the world. Uh, same about red and pink. I love red and pink. What a great combination. Everyone's like, ooh, it clashes. You know what? Clash all you want, baby. Clash all you bloody well want. But yeah. Um, tie detail. Very simple, it's got this kind of bizarre animal scene on it with a horse barking, horse barking? Arf, arf, arf. Horse like, I don't know, is it trying to climb the tree? I'm not really sure what's going on. And then there's like some birds over here. Yeah, it's a little strange. I don't know what that is. Anyone? Anyone got any ideas what that is? I don't know. But yeah, I like it, it's cute, it looks nice, and it was really cheap. So that's perfect for like dressing up or dressing down. I'm gonna go back to my Zara collection. So I love this one. This kimono kind of style jackety thing uh, has a really special memory attached to it for me. So last year at work, uh, I got the ultimate pleasure of meeting her and his Royal Highness, uh, the Duke and Duchess, I can't even say it, <laughs> the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, uh, that is Wales and Kate to most of us, um, and it was amazing, I had to do the whole 
bowing thing so i had to be like your royal highness your royal highness like that you do like a, they call it a neck bang like it's really just nodding isn't it anyway um so yeah we they came into my work i had to do a presentation to them and yeah we had a little bit of a chit chat you know got on quite well uh and i was wearing this kimono and i was just kind of struck by how beautiful she was well actually they were struck by two things first of all i was struck by the fact that i didn't make a complete tit of myself um I actually it all went really really smoothly i didn't headbutt them when i did my neck bow i didn't say too many ridiculous things um but the second thing that really struck me was how beautiful she is in real life like she is just cheddar gorgeous and she's so chic and so like sophisticated and she speaks so well and I'm just like, hello, you know, welcome to this. And in my crazy clothes, looking like I'm going, you know, to a pajama party or whatever. <laughs> um, but I had a really amazing day and it was really special. And I think partly I look so great in so many of the photos because of this bad boy, um, which is, like I said, it's, it's got more colour down the bottom, which I actually really like because the top, I know it's just good. I just think it's a really good colour for me, don't you? I just love it. It has these, it has a back tie detail um, and it has these really lovely pockets which you can put your emergency lipstick in for when the prince and the princess come to see you and you need to put some lipstick on. So it's also really nicely lined, this one. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just the whole thing. It's just lovely. Right, I'm not sure this was meant to be a kimono. I think it might have been supposed to be a beach cover-up. I have no idea, uh, but I don't ever say, oh, well, that's supposed to be that, so you should definitely wear it like that, because, I mean, who who's the shop to tell me how I need to wear their clothes? Yeah, this is a uh, one from Forever 21. So on that day that I bought this, I must have been thinking, oh, I could be a teenager, I'm gonna go in Forever 21 and try and fit in with them. But yeah, I actually think it's a really cool one. I kind of like it because the whole back makes this sort of cross shape. Um, so I do sometimes, it does sometimes make me feel like I'm going to be doing some sort of baptism. Um, I need to wear it with a really big hat and it's kind of flowy and like I say, a bit, a bit ghosty. It's a bit ghosty, I love it. Uh, and yeah, this is one like where I kind of casually um, it's not a going out one, but it is kind of cool, uh, and I like that it's a little darker. Um, oh, it even has a little peacock. I never even noticed that before, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Right, next, let's do a little a vintage number. Strictly not kimono, as I think I said in my video yesterday, the 1970s are the best decade I find for anything remotely Japanese-y for some reason. I don't know if it's because it was a big era of sort of prints, uh, and sort of folk clothing, I don't know, who knows. Um, but this is a lovely like little 1970s number. Um, it's sheer, but it, the reason it reminds me of kimono is because it's got these kind of flowy sleeves um, and the floral detail. But the amazing thing about this one is it's got this elasticated waist, which means this will kind of fit anyone basically. Um, and you can kind of style it how you want to. It's a maxi it goes all the way down and there's some really cute details at the bottom which I love got this one from eBay uh, eBay is a great place to shop for vintage clothes I find um, it is kind of luck whether or not you'll get a bargain or not um, just don't be like me and get obsessed and spend your entire life on that just going oh I need that really random thing that I just saw and I fell in love with and now I can't stop thinking about it uh, eBay is a little bit of a danger zone for me but I do, do still love it um, I actually bought something really awesome off eBay yesterday which I will put in another video soon so keep an eye out for that but you will not want to miss that because it's really cool quickly going to talk about this one from Topshop um, mad pattern mad mad look how crazy that is it's like some sort of psychedelic ridiculous shirt that would be in the one pound bin in a charity shop um, but of course i love it and of course it's by top shop um which i think again i got in in the sale a little while ago um again what i quite like about this is it randomly does actually go with a lot of stuff um and it does have kind of a cool feel to it it's again an everyday rather than a going out um 
I like how loose it is. I can use it as a cover up in the summer. I can pair it with some cool boots and like a little dress for work, you know. Uh, so I think there's a million and one different ways to wear this. And these are usually the items that you'll get the most wear out of. And they're usually the least expensive, I find. I, I can't remember how much this was, but I don't know. <laughs> I kind of love and hate the pattern. I don't know, but I, but I wear it a lot, so. This one is more of the oriental style, as I've kind of said before. I love the colours it's got. It's typically, I suppose, it feels a little more Chinese with the, the flowers. Um, and it's got sort of dragony, birdy looking things on there. Um, but again, this one is like a more traditional kimono shape. Um, it's got the square sleeves with the little holes. I don't know why they have those but who knows um but yeah very striking love it so there are some colors that you don't see much of in kimonos and this is a red one um it's from zara and the other unique thing about this is it's short it's not a long kimono it's it comes down just over the butt so it's nice for covering up your rear end if you're a bit nervous about it. I mean, I don't give a crap about my butt, but um, some people do like things to be long enough to cover their behind, their booty. Um, but yeah, this one, I think I ordered it especially um, because I didn't have a red kimono and I really wanted a red kimono because I try and get one in every color. Uh, I think the only color, I don't know, I think I have all the colors. Maybe I don't have a, predominantly orange one I'm not sure I have to have a look um, but yeah I love this one it's really good for work um, it looks really smart it's not pro probably not as flattering on me as some of the others but that's okay um, like I can say I prefer to wear things that I like than things that necessarily I should wear for my shape. I'm not like a total gook believer in that. I believe that you should only wear things that are on the list that suit your body shape. Um, wear whatever you want. That's my motto. Uh, so yeah, this one's really cute. And I like the back detail here where it's kind of um, rutched a little bit. Rutched, rutched. Um, but yeah, love the colors. Really nice with leggings, really nice with, actually, do you know what I wear this with? Like those wide trousers, those collot ones. I think that's really cool and it creates a nice sort of silhouette and then it makes your ankles look really skinny too. Um, if you have good ankles, highly recommend a collot. Bloody leather collot. The last one I'm gonna talk about is this one from ASOS. Um, I don't think it's, it's not branded, it's from Yas. Yas, Yas. Um, but actually, I bought it on ASOS, I remember because I was really excited about it coming. And then I actually think the color came and it's a slightly more, I don't know, corn flowery blue. Is that corn flower blue? Pale blue that I was expecting, like a, it's like a powder blue. I don't know, it's one of the blues. It wasn't the kind of blue that I was expecting, but I quite like it still. Um, I do like the little cranes on it um, and the cute flowers. Um, I like the length of it. It's just, again, it probably wasn't the best buy. It definitely isn't one of my favourites, but I still think to have these in the wardrobe is really helpful because, again, it's something that you can just wear to grab and go um, and it looks really pretty. And, like I say, you can wear it with everything. You can use it as kind of a light jacket or sometimes I wear it as a dress. Um, it really just depends where you're going and what you're doing. Uh, and that is why we love the versatility of the kimono. So guys, that's all we have time for today. That is probably 90% of the kimono collection. So there will be no more kimono videos for a fair while. Um, thinking about next, starting to do some homeware stuff. I, actually, I can show you, I can do a primal call because I did actually do a bit of shopping yesterday when I went to get my eyebrows done and I bought a few things and maybe you'd like to see those. Um, if you have any requests, please do drop me a line and remember to subscribe, like and comment if you enjoyed this video because I want to keep making more of them. So please, please. Okay, have yourself a lovely day.